Today's topic, where we've been. Um, I've been dealing with some stuff on the back end. We got a bit of a problem where, as you can see in the title, uh, it looks like the Jubilee channel is trying to have us delete it. Now, maybe that's not the best characterization, but... We don't know if they're trying to have us delete it. Well, what they're doing might result in us being deleted. Yes. Uh, we had videos recently that were flagged, uh, some new, some old, by a company called LDS Affiliate, which, on behalf of Jubilee, is flagging a bunch of their videos saying that we are infringing on their copyright. Now, I'm not going to make a video about something like this normally. I appeal it. I go through the same steps that I do with all the other channels. Generally, after an appeal or two, everything gets uh, undone. But this time, no. They're going forward with the removal. And they're saying if these videos are not removed in the next five to six days, they will delete. They will give us a copyright strike. And there's enough of them that we would probably get three copyright strikes and have all the channels removed. Now, you guys might be saying, Abba, why aren't you panicking? Um, there's a couple of reasons. One... Uh, I've always thought this was possible with you too. That's why I told you guys, enjoy us while we're here because we could disappear at any point. Uh, and two, no, that's really the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason I'm not panicking. I think I've always kind of, I got a bit of a doomer mentality in that regard. So this shit might go. And it's a bit frustrating because, you know, if somebody does this kind of stuff, it's like, okay, maybe, maybe they're crazy about their copyright. But it's a bit different with these guys because they've already been on the record saying they're fine with this kind of content. And so... I remember this because I remember we reacted to this a long time ago. Uh, and here, I'll play the clip for you. I don't like when other channels react to our videos. Taylor? Disagree. Dan? Disagree. John? Strongly agree. Jason? Strongly disagree. Kendra? Disagree. Tyree? Somewhat disagree. Rogany? Strongly disagree. Randy? Somewhat agree. Have and preach. We're just <laughs> naming them now? Okay. <laughs> I do agree that sometimes when they're just being judgmental for no reason, then it's, I don't like that either. But I feel sometimes some of the reaction videos are actually so funny. Yeah, I, I watch Avin Preach videos. And I think every time I watch a video, it like hurts. Because I remember when Avin Preach reacted to our video when Bonnie has a conversation with um, a Jubilee critic. Like that, like watching that video, I think that ruined my like entire week. Like I was very like bummed because... That was a video where I put like so much effort into, but I don't know. I just like keep watching them. I even <laughs> yeah. though like I don't love them, like I enjoy watching the videos and like I learn a lot and I'm like really curious. I know they are playing the game fair. I just sometimes don't like the game. You're I'm gonna get, get roasted. Oh, yeah, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Bye, John. What a lot of folks don't know is we allow folks to monetize off of our content, right? And that's a deliberate choice that we've made is actually that we could take away their monetization so that they're not making money off of using our content, but we actually give them that permission and we think that's one of the ways that we continue to operate in the spirit of like our mission. Like I'm, I'm pretty honored in some ways that PewDiePie is reacting to so many of our videos. He's like literally one of the biggest YouTubers ever. And the fact that he is watching our videos so intently and reacting to them, like that's, I think it's a great sign. And, and mind you, they talk about the fact that we react to our channel. Some they say like the Christians are a bit harsh, but hey, it's part of the game. It's fine. Right? So my question is what's changed? And if it has changed, why didn't you just have it publicly said, we don't want anyone else reacting, but that's not, I've not heard. Have you heard anything to the contrary? No, but they don't have to advise anybody. They can change that decision. And if that guy that agrees, most of them mostly somewhat dis disagree or somewhat agree or whatever. So they're very like more much of an offense. If that guy is not part of Jubilee no more. No, he's a CEO. He's still part of it. Oh, okay. Well then I got nothing. And here's the thing I question. Okay, fine. Let's say you don't want, us because you feel like it's a copyright infringement. Are you doing this to everyone else that you collaborate? Because you collaborate with a lot of these creators. Are you doing this to PewDiePie? Are you doing this to Cody Co? Are you guys targeting all these people that you've worked with that are creators who've reacted to their stuff and tell them to take down their, their videos of you? That's the thing that I don't understand. While fresh and fit, just pearly things and every the loser in the red pill space are taking L's. Again! We want you guys to get some W's with today's sponsor, Surfshark. You need a VPN changer in your life. I know that because you like to be outside just like me. You book hotels and this and that. First, it's a known fact that if you change your location uh, for your flight tickets, you get better deals. Yeah. So by booking your flight tickets from a different location, you're going to be able to have a better deal uh, on your flight tickets. What's more, some content is gated based off your location. Why shouldn't you be able to watch the TV shows and the movies you want to watch? When you got a subscription, you should be able to see it all. 
Just changing your location with a VPN allows you to do so. And the wonderful thing is that Surfshark right now is sponsoring us and is helping us for this video. And you just click on the link below, okay? And you add the coupon ABBA and PREACH and you're going to get three months free. The wonderful thing about Surfshark is that it's unlimited devices. So no matter how many devices you connect on it, there's no limit. You can connect one and another one and your mom and your sister and your father and all of them devices on the same VPN. And it's not going to charge you one thing, one penny more so if you click on the link below and enter coupon abba and preach you're gonna get three months free 30 day money back warranty get it maybe they just hired this company and this company is going crazy and mark flagging anything and anything because mind you these videos have been up for five years so this is a new change that some of this is and for me all i'm saying is just communicate this stuff if your stance has changed that's fine but you shouldn't be able to threaten somebody's livelihood, okay? When you come out and say, I'm good with this stuff, and then you change it and you don't inform nobody. There's a reason why we did more videos is because you verbally said that you were good with it. Like, the reason why we kept on doing it was like, well, <laughs> till was you saying, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, We could have, but we didn't because it's fine. It's okay. And you went, so on and so forth, whatever. Yeah, and here's the thing. It's not a big deal. Like, we have such a library stuff that we can pull from and things we can cover that this is not going to be a huge loss for us it's fine like i think we might put out maybe what one or two videos on jubilee day we put five videos out week. it's not a big deal we can replace that with something else but my question is what are they doing to smaller channels because i know they're not doing this to the really big ones and is this just a company that people have hired that have gone a y because that's happened before too it, it, yeah you know what i'm saying so to their credit like i don't want to say it, but i have contacted them i emailed them they've seen the email you know i've dm'd them and, you know, because there was no response, I'm like, all right, let me just go about this publicly because, you know, there's no answer privately and, and figure this out. Now, I don't want to slander them. I like their content. Honestly, I think they've fostered some really good discussions in the past. But, yeah, it, it, it is a shame. And this is what I've been telling you guys, the viewers, about this. We are, at the end of the day, employees. We don't have – we might – or contractors, but we only really are contracted to YouTube, essentially. And this stuff is very fickle. That's why I say I don't take this for granted – I recognize that this shit can disappear at any time. So if it does, or if that ever happens, know that I'll be okay with it. I'm not going to, you know, cry myself to sleep or whatever. But well, we could do something about it. So why don't you just take off the videos? Why? Why would you, why would you keep them if that's a problem? It looks like it's a problem. So you could take them down and then mm -hmm. it's not problem is going to be solved. Because I think it's such a bad precedent for copyright stuff on YouTube in general. I can understand that. Yeah, if you just let all these companies who just come in and then want a copyright claim, like, listen, if there was going to be a legal battle, then let, let, let that be the case. And I think that's okay, too. Why not? Because then what if everyone else starts copyright striking everything? I understand. Should, would you and concede it, to it, that, it, too? No, that's not what I'm saying. But if, if, like, for example, we've had copyright strike before and they were deemed, they were they were ruled that it was that was falsely done, but now they're, first, they're somewhere somehow going through with this so would you want to do a legal battle with that i don't think that's a horrible idea i think that's fine and i think it's a worthwhile thing okay so you want to go with a legal battle with it? i think i would prefer that okay cool i didn't yeah, I'm, I'm not just sit here and be like oh well, the channel gets deleted that's what i'm saying yeah at least that's what I, but i i prefer not having to do any of that because i don't think it's in their mission statement to be copyright striking people and deleting people and I, I know this whole situation is really bizarre because you know what from some creators like I could see it but from this one I'm a little bit more surprised by it but anyways um, that's what's going on that's why I've been kind of dealing with in the background so I'll get back to uploading regularly soon in the future but I just got to figure this out because I need to make sure if I'm going to be working on all these other videos that there's still going to be a channel around for you guys to enjoy um, hopefully Jubilee can take care of this and handle this uh, apparently we're going to start getting strikes in the next five days so we'll see what happens at that point but uh, yeah that's what's going on right now what are your thoughts? I think you should take them down for now and take legal actions. I don't think the legal actions I don't think the legal actions can be taken down. We could we I think they, I don't think that we can we don't have hold on. We can proceed with legal actions by and still take those down. We could do both. But whatever. Cuz it's going to take a while. It's going to take a hell of a while. Yeah. And in the meantime we could lose the channel. So, possible. Well, there you guys go. Abba and Preach might just be gone real soon. What are your thoughts? It's possible.